Former 90 Day Fiancé star Michael Alashway was found guilty. There are several counts in this case pertaining to child sexual abuse materials, CSAM. Prior to the TLC reality series becoming a global sensation, Mike and Aziza were a couple featured in season 1. To marry Mike, Aziza journeyed halfway across the globe. Her husband is now leaving for prison, perhaps to serve a lengthy sentence. Michael Alashwe, a former cast member of 90 Day Fiancé, was convicted guilty of two CSAM-related crimes. Cleveland.com claims that the charges against him are related to his receipt, distribution, and possession of illicit media that depicts youngsters being sexually abused. One of the victims in question was younger than 12. When Mike debuted on 90 Day Fiancé, he was 31 years old. At 40, he may be incarcerated for the next 17 to 20 years. Elashway's lawyer contended in court in June that his client had performed general searches for torrent files. It seems that the materials he had downloaded were unlawful and horrifying unindexed files. To be clear, there are two types of uses for peer-to-peer -peer software, legitimate uses and technically unlawful uses that are far more benign. It's not really comparable to someone downloading Game of Thrones or a movie, as we argued during the Josh Duggar trial of this kind. Is it conceivable to inadvertently download horrible content that involves the abuse of children? Very likely. That's what his lawyer said, saying that after finding the files, Elashwe erased them. Prosecutors, however, don't seem to think that Mike Elashwe did that. Mike Elashwe was charged with knowingly receiving and distributing depictions of real minors engaged in sexually explicit conduct in the indictment dated June 24, 2023. According to the authorities, he committed this offense between February 2022 and March 2023. Additionally, as of May 9, 2023, investigators discovered that he owned a PC that was infected with CSAM. That seems to imply that, contrary to what his lawyer says, they do not think he erased all of the evidence upon finding. Some 90-day fiancé followers have said on social media that his age difference from Aziza Mazadova should have been a red flag. When they first connected on a language learning website, Mike was 31 and she was 21. Age differences between people in real life can occasionally indicate the need for a spouse over whom they have control. Not always and usually not if their ages are just 10 years apart. Dating is common among those in their 20s and 30s. Aziza's maturity must be emphasized above all else. And until she was an adult, as far as we know, the two never even exchanged words. This is particularly different from Evelyn and David, the 90-day fiancé couple. To be clear, a child and even a very young adult are not the same. Not to mention the one or more prepubescent victims Michael Oshwe is said to have known about. It's unknown if Aziza and him are still a couple. Together, they became parents, which is unsettling given Aziza's past and future. Mike removed himself off social media. Aziza, meanwhile, has hers set to private. That makes logical in the given scenario.